first step to fitting the green guard is finding the green guard logo, which is a little hard to see because it's the same color as the muzzle, but it's a raised logo and it says green guard on it. The other way you know that it's the front of the muzzle is that it's three slots across. Uh, the side of the muzzle is five slots across, so it's not symmetrical. So I'm going to take the front strap and we have a green guard halter on this horse. You can also use a regular halter as well. You just loop it over the nose band. So I'm just going to connect the front strap. Now I have a really cooperative horse, knock on wood, uh, right now. And if you don't, then you may want to just connect the whole muzzle uh, before you stick the halter on the horse. And one of the main things about this muzzle is that you need, you need about a half inch to an inch space at the bottom of the muzzle. And that is so that they're able to move around and graze in the different areas. Because the center is blocked, they're not able to actually get grass out of the very center in the middle. Um, so if it's right up against their mouths, they can't get anything at all and it gets very frustrating. Um, this works like a flat slow feeder, so they're moving around in it. So it needs some space in the bottom so that they're able to move freely to the different areas. So now that I've got the front strap adjusted such that I've got a half inch to an inch space in the bottom, um, I'm going to adjust the side straps so that they're not pulling in on the muzzle but just holding it in place. Um, but you don't want the strap so tight that they're pulling inward on the muzzle or they're holding it too tightly against the halter because then it won't be able to move. You want the straps uh, flexible and loose enough that the muzzle can move freely on the halter like this when they're grazing. Now what I'm looking for is that the muzzle is parallel to the horse's grazing surface. You don't want the muzzle angled up um, like this or down and back. Mostly, mostly what happens is it gets angled up and then they're not really able to graze properly in it. It needs to be flat um, and parallel to where they would normally graze. Now I'm looking at it and I'm like, okay, it looks a little angled up to me, um, maybe a little bit, so I'm gonna loosen the front strap some more. And I know this is taking a little time, but this time will pay off in the long run um, to have it adjusted correctly. So I like that better. Um, and as you can see, the, the openness in the, in the corners allows her to breathe freely um, without it blocking her nostrils. Uh, so that looks good to me. What I would do now is I would turn her out um, and kind of watch her to see how the muzzle is fitting um, as she is grazing. And if there's any adjustments that need to be made as the halter and the muzzle move, then I'll bring her in and kind of make those adjustments. The main things to remember is you need to have it oriented correctly. Green Guard logo in the front, three slots width. You want to have some space in the bottom. Straps need to be flexible and loose enough that it can move and parallel to the grazing surface.